Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. For those of you who are new, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses who are the fabric sculpture dolls sitting behind me that I created myself. I sold these dolls, the giraffe and everything you see behind me. As I was making the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, they kept telling me ancient secrets and stories about life, which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. So far we have book one, two, and three. And these books led to the Oracle deck that I'm using. The Oracle deck is just as magical as the Doll's Child. And in today's, in today's video, pick a card video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you a message from your inner gangster. Or you might want to call it your inner gangsta. Basically, a gangster is a person who has no regard for the law or other people. They take whatever they want by force but, and pretty much do whatever they want whenever they want to do it. And I always say that we all are a little bit of everything, but what makes us that thing is how much we are of it. So, the part of you this gangster wants to talk to you. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you chose the teal blue butterfly, this reading is for you. Get ready to focus here. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. Oh, the Jungle Beauty Goddess, Goddess Afar's message to you is, you can create whatever you want. So we're putting that third eye chakra. So basically there's something you want but you're not really sure how to go about it but the next card we have is from jungle beauty goddess sahara and jungle beauty goddess sahara says clarity is magic so it's kind of funny it's like you can create whatever you want but the first thing you can do is to figure out what it is that you want you know people don't always know that that is not the easiest thing to do but we'll talk about that the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess katara 
And Jungle Beauty Goddess, Katara's message to you is your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. So basically, we're talking about your root chakra. So before you can even think about what it is you really want in life, you need to first take care of yourself. So I would say before you plan some massive goal, like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, upload videos every day. I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to you know, go back to school. Da -da -da. No, first just make sure that you are able to meditate, that you're eating a healthy diet, because when you meditate and take care of your body, this is going to put you in a position to think clearly. The last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar again, and her message to you is you would never fail when you are being yourself. This is a really good hand. So the gangster in you, child, is telling you, look, you don't need to be anybody else. All you got to do is be yourself. And all you gotta, when you focus in on being yourself, you are going to excel at your dreams. But you got to first, like, stop looking at other people and say, oh, my God, I wish I was like such and such. Or comparing yourself to other people because that is preventing you from tapping into what is unique about you. And when you focus on what is unique about you, then, of course, there's no competition, right? So for first, so again, I'm just going to repeat this really quickly. The first thing you really need to do is take care of yourself. So if you're not getting enough rest, if you're not eating healthy, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're not taking vitamins, then really it's going to interfere with your ability to think clearly. Once you're able to think clearly, because we have the car from Jungle Beauty Guys, Sahara, who says clarity is magic, you know, Sometimes people don't understand it's like you can get what you want when you figure out exactly what it is and then you can develop the steps necessary to accomplish those goals. So you're going to first take care of yourself and taking care of yourself is going to help you think clearly and then also you will never fail when you are being yourself. So basically if you are fighting your nature like say for example you really love to do hair but you don't think doing hair is good enough you really want to bake cookies but you don't think that's good enough for the world so basically you never feel like you are worthy you never feel good enough because you don't you you feel like you need to be more you need to do more but I think the cars are telling you you need to be yourself and if you like you know baking cookies if you like doing hair if you like making YouTube videos if you like writing children's books you really have to tap into that part of you that is that belongs to you and not listen to your parents and not listen to your friends and not listen to other people because we uh, one of the things I have learned so far about life is that we are always trying to impress other people but we don't need to impress other people you need to really be true to yourself so I have one more message from you and this is from the adventuring, the the orange adventuring uh, star alien being and I'm just going to place her here on my forehead and hear if, if there's an additional message for you. Is there an additional message for this person from their gangster self? In order to be a gangster, one must be selfish and when one is selfish, one thinks about what is best for for himself or herself. You are a very kind and loving person and you always like to put other people first. But you really need to take into consideration what you need. You need to put yourself first. You need to do a gangster move and put yourself first. It's going to shock a lot of people. It's going to hurt a lot of people because people are used to you always looking out for them and doing what's best for them but the gangster in you is saying this is time for you to take by force your health your well-being and think about what it is you want to accomplish okay thank you that is the message that the star alien being and the jungle beauty goddesses have for you thank you so much for watching Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you the message from your gangster, your inner gangster self. 
So the first message I have from you from your inner gangster is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you is always do your own research. Mm, don't listen to people, y'all. Mm. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is do it now. So I believe that there's something that you, that's been on your heart to do. But you have been listening to other people, what other people are telling you. This is how many people fail. You know, people who don't, you know, if you do this, you're not going to make any money. Or this is going to be hard. Or it's not going to work. Um, your gangster self is saying, do your own research. Don't listen to other people. And whatever it is on your heart that you need to be doing, you need to, like, move, like, turn the video off and, like, get started on it right away. Oh, Jesus, this is such a good hand. The next card I have from you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. Your gangster self said, be fearless. Your gangster self said, be fearless. And to do it now. And to do your own research, child. Right? Not to listen to other people. Okay, got one more card from your inner gangster. Your inner gangster um, message from... Namib, Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, and she says you are born with everything you need know this man, this is the card I would be looking for your, your inner gangster says to be fearless like of course your inner gangster would say that, and it says do it now so if you're hesitating, if you like oh, should I take out this loan mm, should I write this book should I upload this video mmm your inner gangster said, do it now. Your inner gangster says, don't listen to people. Do your own research, child. And it says to be fearless. Because you, my darling, were born with everything you need. Know this. So I am going to check and see if I have a message from the Lapis Lazuli alien being for you. Is there an additional message for the person who chose this hand? So I'm going to take a look here. Is there an additional message from this person's inner gangster? Yes. Do your own research, but do not become inundated with research. Sometimes people spend more time looking than doing. So whatever you're looking for, it will affirm whatever is in your heart. If you don't think you should be doing something, You'll be surprised at the data you will pull up that will tell you not to do it. So my suggestion to you is only to look at a couple of sources. And after that, make up in your mind to be fearless and to go after what it is you want. Okay. Thank you. You know, that makes a lot of sense to me. You know how people spend a lot of time thinking about, oh, you know, should I... Um, write my book or should I go to school to be a lawyer and you start looking to see how much everybody make and you start listening to everybody's story by the time you finish with all of that you don't want to do anything because now you're just afraid and you do, you have a card that says to be fearless so the, the star alien being says you know do a little research look at a couple two or three things and then you try you need to listen to Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai who says what do it now right get on with it I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. So first, I'm going to take a look at the cards and see what message they have for you from your inner gangster or gangsta. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And her message to you is, you are a multi-dimensional infinite being. Act as if you will live forever. That card can mean, uh, you know, can cause you to do a whole bunch of stuff, right? Because if you're going to live forever, you might as well go and take that loan out. You might as well do whatever you want to do. Let's see what the next message is from your inner gangster. The next message is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is, How you think will determine your happiness. 
So if you got some negative thinking going on, you know, your inner gangster is saying, you know, if you, whatever it is you want to do, you probably need to like change your negative thought patterns. You change the dialogue that you're having with yourself because how you think will determine your happiness. Not other people, not other things, that a lot of the dialogue in your head is affecting your ability to be happy and follow your dreams or to be successful. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is unleash your confidence. Unleash your confidence. So, unleash your confidence means that you need to, one, change the negative, you know, the thinking in your head, but you also need to work on your third chakra. And there are some really good gemstones for working on your third chakra, Joe. And um, what I have here is the sunstone. This would be good for you. Oh, Citrine is a really good gemstone for working on your third chakra. I also have this ring here. I'm working on my third chakra right now, which is a yellow jasper. Any type of yellow jasper. Um, pirate is good for working on your on your third chakra because it actually stops you from being sensitive to people who make uh, who are critical or who make negative comments. Um, yellow calcite. What else? Oh, I usually have a yellow J. Pretty much any yellow gemstone. Tiger, tiger's eye is good for your third chakra as well. So to unleash your your confidence, you got to work on that third chakra, which is two inches above your navel, like right in the center of your stomach. It is your power center. And then the next card I have for you. Oh, Jesus! It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And her message to you is, let it go. Some things are not meant to be known. So you might have it in your mind right now. You're thinking like, why me? Or why isn't this working? Why aren't things okay? You know, why, you know, why is my life the way it is? Why when I look at other people, they seem to have everything so easy, but everything is so hard for me. Um, you're, you're really, you're, you're doing a lot to yourself right now. The thinking you're you're down on yourself. You are more down on yourself than other people, and you got to get out of your head. You got to get out of your head because um, the dialogue, the crit, the self criticism, the self doubt, the things that are in your head are really are affecting your happiness. It is really affecting your ability. To be productive and to really live the life that you are capable of living yep and now I'm going to see what the high soul Jasper star alien being messages for you so we want to know what the inner gangster messages for this person sometimes people think that by being cautious they won't make mistakes by being cautious is not going to prevent you from take, making mistakes every risk you take is not going to turn out perfectly but you still need to take that step to get to the next step if you could focus on not looking back at your mistakes and just keep moving forward your life would change dramatically so what if things don't turn, turn out right immediately that is okay. You want to guarantee <coughs> that everything is going to work out. You want to guarantee. You want guarantees that if you start a channel, it's going to be successful. If you write a book, the people are going to read it. But you live several lifetimes, and sometimes things happen when we least expect it. But you can't get caught up in the results and the outcome you have to just keep moving <clears throat> you have to keep moving and believe in yourself regardless of what the results are 
or regardless of what it appears to be at this moment. Stop looking for guarantees. Looking for guarantees, focusing on outcomes is preventing you from move, keep preventing you from moving ahead. <clears throat> I really hope this message, sorry, hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darlings. If you chose the red butterfly, this message is for you from your inner gangster. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Cyanide. And her message to you is, you don't need a reason to have fun. See, your inner gangster is all about breaking laws and doing whatever they want to do. So if you are the person who's waiting for permission to enjoy your life, to go on that vacation, to do any of the things that you have been dreaming about, your inner gangster is saying, child, you don't need a reason to have fun. You know, you need to have fun because it is the right thing to do. It's good to enjoy your life. The next card I have for you is from Jagger Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you is think more and talk less. So basically, as opposed to you talking about what you want to do one day, she wants you, your inner gangster wants you to think about how you're going to actually accomplish those dreams or make those things happen. The next card I have for you from your inner gangster is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Charby. And her message to you is, trust your gut, use your resolve to move forward. She's saying, you know, it's time to like do what you're going to do. You know, like you're probably overthinking the situation. Um, you know, just kind of like a little hesitant. She says, trust your gut. Is You know, if this is a good time to, to bust a move, whether it's a relationship, whether it is a job or whatever. Trust your gut and move forward. It's time to do something. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Ch um, Kalahari and her message is sometimes love means hanging on. So your inner gangster is saying whoever has this hand that you might want to give up but I don't know if it's a relationship I don't know if it's going to school I don't know if it's a job but this hand is saying that if you're having fun and if you're in love, if you're in love with you do what you do, it could be a person, it could be a job. But if you are enjoying it, if you are in love, if you are having fun, then you need to trust your resolve and move forward and really figure out what your next move is in this relationship or in this job. So your inner gangster is telling you to enjoy the ride. That was that's the message I'm picking up. So next I'm gonna give you the message from the Amazonite um, star alien being and let's see if they have any additional or information any additional information from your inner gangster walk lightly and keep your eyes open and I also see for some reason a person riding a bike like in a very beautiful area with flowers and water I'm thinking that the you need to oh you need to enjoy life you need to be spontaneous maybe you need to get away from everybody so that you can figure out what it is you really want and clear your head so you'll know what your gut is actually telling you to do but the vision that I'm seeing is really I don't know why but it's a person riding a bike around a beautiful beach or lake with, with a lot of flowers and I'm assuming that whoever this reading is for you need to get away and get into nature and clear your head and that whatever is going on don't give up on it like if it's a job you know maybe things are going to turn around if it's a person things are going to work out but 
you need to relax and be present in the moment and live in the moment and enjoy it that is the message I have for you is that you what your inner gangster is saying chill your inner gangster is telling you to chill because sometimes love means hanging on even your inner gangster knows that also you don't need a reason to have fun so your inner gangster is telling you to chill out and enjoy the ride <gasps> enjoy the ride thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video